Mastercraft has never been afraid to make major changes. In fact, our 43-year history is littered with stomping the status quo. So when Ilmore, a highly successful performance engineering company, approached us about engineering a new engine for our boats, we once again turned our back to convention. But who is Ilmore and why partner with Mastercraft? We head to Ilmore headquarters in Plymouth, Michigan to find out. It started in 1984. It was actually formed by two engineers, Mario Illion and Paul Morgan, who formerly had worked at Cosworth Engineering. Um, Cosworth was the dominant IndyCar engine company at that time, but uh, uh, Mario and Paul felt that they could design a better Indy engine, and so they approached Roger Penske, looking to uh, assist them in funding and uh, getting the program off the ground. And uh, uh, that was the, the sort of humble beginnings. Um, 1987, we, we won our first race with Mario Andretti in Long Beach and really haven't looked back. We've been in IndyCar racing every single year ever since and uh, have been winning ever since. Well, um, really from the start of the company, we had to be an engineering company. When you race at the levels we do in IndyCar racing and in the past Formula One, NASCAR, you have to design everything from a clean sheet of paper. You have to design proprietary technology into the engine. It's not possible to take someone else's engine and tune it up. So it's, uh, it's absolutely vital that you have a group of engineers that are very capable design engineers, development engineers, and so forth. Since that first win back in 1987, we've actually now won over 225 IndyCar races. And uh, we've won the Indianapolis 500 16 times. We've won 12 Indy championships. Formula One, two world championships. Powerboat racing, three world championships. We've won races in NASCAR and in uh, midget racing and pretty much just about every series we've ever been in we've been pretty successful and uh, won at least one race so uh, I think that's a fair assessment of uh, where we stand today. All right th these are a few uh, examples of engines that we've designed and manufactured and raced over the last two and a half decades. Um, these three engines here we raced in the late uh, 1990s in fact from 94 to, to uh, 2000 very successful IndyCar racing engine programs. This particular one produced almost 900 horsepower, 16,000 RPM, very, uh, very successful program. These two engines here we raced from uh, 2001 and 2002. This particular one um, is a ve very famous photograph of Elio Castro and Evers climbing the fence after winning the Indy 500 in 2001. These two are stock car engines. This, the Dodge engine we race in Arca today and uh, campaigned successfully, won some races with this. This engine has some good value for us. This is uh, 1990, or sorry, 2004. We won the uh, Daytona night race in June in Bush Grand National. Midget race engine, campaigned this for the last couple of years and uh, won uh, several races with that. Because these kind of results cannot be ignored, Ilmore decided it was time to take its proven track record to offshore powerboat racing. Well, b back in about 2000, we, um, we really began to realize that we've got to diversify the company. Up till then, we were just racing. And um, we'd done a little bit of work for Dodge on the Viper engine. We, we actually entered APBA Supercat Racing. We were able to compare the, the big Dodge Viper 8.3 liter to the Supercat engine, and we realized that the power and torque curves were quite similar. So we approached Chrysler about it, the possibility of trying some engines in a boat, and uh, pretty much the, that, that started the history of Ilmore in Marine. But at the same time, you know, we also realized that the marine industry was a great avenue for us. We're a high-performance powertrain supplier, if you want to get it real basic. So where better to go than a, into the marine industry where people make a lot of boats but don't necessarily make their own engines. And uh, so for us, it was, a, it was a pretty easy avenue. This is the latest version of our MV10 high-performance marine engine. This is uh, very much a current engine. We're still working on newer variants of it to, for introduction later on. And then this, of course, is the new um, Indy uh, stern drive unit that we introduced in June of last year. Now we, we have a complete package now that uh, I think is doing very well in the high performance circles. We, we first got to know Mastercraft just a little bit through associations in IndyCar racing. Mastercraft for some years had been sponsoring uh, various race cars to a small degree, um, including Team Penske. And uh, so what, what 
went from a, a simple conversation, became an idea, from an idea into a business proposition, from a business proposition into the deal that we have today. So it's been a, it's been a long road, but uh, we're very, very happy with that. Well, with Mastercraft being such a premium brand in the marine industry, we're always looking to differentiate ourselves to improve the quality of the product and improve the consumer experience. And, and when we were approached by Ilmore, it was um, looking at their history, their high performance powertrain, all their successes in, in racing and so forth, it was a perfect opportunity for us to really improve the overall quality of the Mastercraft product and the overall quality of the consumer will get with the Mastercraft product.